subscribe now. EU debates. Thank you very much for all of you who came to Poland, who came to Warsaw, and all of you who uh, also pledged so much for to support Ukraine. I'm going to per personally thank first Magdalena Andersen, Prime Minister of Sweden, uh, Poland and Sweden. Uh, uh, we are always so much close working towards um, Ukraine and uh, Eastern Partnership. And this is also uh, today a very clear sign of uh, cooperation. And thank you, Magdalena, for this. And also, Ursula, thank you for your presence to Warsaw. Uh, President of the European Commission is enormously involved in supporting Ukraine on all uh, different occasions and uh, many different aspects. So uh, really thank you very, very much, Ursula, for all what you are doing. And also uh, I'm going to thank Charles Michel, who is not with us right now, but who was with us uh, at the conference. <clears throat> and thank you, Denis, for coming to this important uh, conference. I also like to take this opportunity to thank all the Polish citizens and everybody who is involved in supporting Ukrainian refugees and who is involved in gathering uh, all the funds to support Ukraine. We have to bear in mind that we are all active and we try to actively and uh, effectively support Ukraine, but they are fighting for all of us. They are fighting for the freedom of Ukraine, but they are fighting for security and peace in Europe. Um, and uh, this connectivity, this link cannot be forgotten. Well, like history teaches us also that for civilians, war almost always means fear and death and hunger. Uh, in Ukraine, we are not dealing with an ordinary war. Uh, it is an assault justified by lies and carried out by criminals for human rights are an ab abstraction and for whom cruelty is a way to win. Cruelty is a way to win for the Russians. This means the indescribable uh, misery of the citizens of uh, invaded country. And we encounter this, we see this every day. We see uh, Ukrainian soldiers in our hospitals. We see Ukrainian refugees. And we see people of Ukraine in Ukraine suffering enormously. So this is why I believe um, that the time for uh, acting time to act is, is now and we have to remind ourselves about this every, every day. Photos from today's Ukraine differ from those from World War II only in resolution and color that. Uh, cities under z siege and people starved to death, it seemed like scenes from the 70 years ago, but this is this is today, and we, we see this uh, every day. Uh, unimaginable losses, numbers of hospitals, schools, kindergarten, uh, housing estates, we see this every day, but we cannot get used to this, those pictures. We, we have to be decisive enough and patient enough to support Ukraine in everything what uh, Ukrainian people are doing to defend their, their freedom, their sovereignty, and their territorial integrity. <clears throat> On this conference, we were able to gather more than 6 billion euro, uh, and this money will be, uh, this patch will be distributed, distributed to support Ukraine and all those who support Ukraine, because uh, we know how painfully and how costly it is for the Ukrainian nation. When uh, Russia brings death, the countries of the free world have to bring aid. And, and I think this conference here in Warsaw showed enormous uh, amount of solidarity amongst all of us 
um, to provide uh, hope for Ukraine, to provide future for Ukraine, because we were discussed, discussing not only the here and now kind of hope, but also the future of a sovereign and free Ukraine. Ukraine, which also should be given as quickly as possible a candidate status uh, f uh, for, to the European Union. I know how important this is uh, for Ukrainian people um, uh, to, uh, to maintain their fighting spirit, their morale. It is uh, extremely important. We must act with the perspective of a long distance uh, runner. Finally, today we are faced with the question of what can we do for Ukrainians to survive? How can we help Ukraine to stand on its own feet? And a special obligation rests with those EU countries that have built energy dependence on Russia for years and sold weapons to it. I won't mention any particular member state. I know that the situation of countries differs from one to another, but uh, the unity is extremely important today. And once more, let me thank the European Commission and Ursula for uh, your involvement to maintain this unity and to make as uh, much of a progress as possible in uh, yet another package of sanctions, because this is what we have to do. We have to decisively reply to all the atrocities of war to contribute to stop this war as quickly as possible. Today, Ukraine is a pillar of our world, and we all owe it a debt of gratitude. We have to start paying it back immediately. We have to be in solidarity because there is no freedom without solidarity. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister.